away in front of a capacity crowd, ideal conditions. Rangers going into attack straight away, playing exactly as announced two days ago by manager Jock Wallace. John McClellan playing at left back in the rather unusual Rangers defensive formation. And making his last appearance for Rangers before going back to Toronto, Jimmy Nicholl made captain for the day, and he may be the subject of a permanent transfer later in the summer. But the major surprise is in midfield, where they've introduced young Peter Grant. He's captain of the Scottish under-18 professional youth team, and he makes up a four-man Celtic midfield. There's Burns robbing Fritz. And the boot was raised too high by Peter Grant. The free kick's been given to the Rangers. The referee's raised right arm, indicating it's indirect for dangerous play. Once again, Patterson is forward, so is Dave McPherson. Fritz playing it in, McGrain comes to meet it. Paul McStay. A great interception by Jimmy Nicol. Now Cooper on the right. Playing it for Russell, a good build-up from Rangers. And McLeod was back defending, but here's Cooper again. Pitch for the first time pass, and McAdam was in the way. Bradford holding off McGarvey. The tackle was from Grant, but Fritz finds McCoist. Williamson stealing the ball away from Martin McLeod. And a good recovery from the Celtic midfield man, but Russell picks up the loose ball for Derry Cooper. McPherson streaking forward on the right for Rangers, making the extra man. Cooper being bundled from the back by Reid. In a hurry to take the free kick. Here's Russell. And Reid concedes the corner kick to Rangers. Helped on by McClelland. There's Dave McPherson. And he couldn't control the header. He Rangers dug out, Chuck Wallace in the corner on the right-hand side, looking very calm. So half an hour gone. And the match could scarcely be more evenly balanced. Next day's header, looking for Reid. Still Mark Reid for Celtic. McGarvey! And a splendid save by Peter McCloy. Get him. And Nicol taking Burns late. And the Rangers captain for the day will become the first player to be booked. He's had to go very deep indeed to become involved in the play. Good turn from Williamson. Redford. Looking for McCoist. And McGrain got just a touch, I think. No, the referee thinks not. Well, the referee Alexander. Very positive in that decision, but Ali McCoy certainly felt that McGrain got a very delicate touch. And certainly you wonder if McCoy might well have been able to control the ball had McGrain not touched it. Pleasantness, but on the whole, some great football. The best save of the first half coming from Peter. Huge kick out again from McCloy. Here's Bobby Russell. Back to Redford. Marvellous goalkeeping from Pat Bonner. A strange shot, that one. Didn't appear to get a lot of power behind it. Guided it rather towards the top corner. Bonner appeared to hang in the air to beat the ball round for the corner. Cooper's corner kick. And Williamson makes it 1-0. Acrobatic effort from Bobby Williamson. Ten minutes of the second half gone. But was missed by McGrain, wasn't cleared properly. And there's the overhead kick from Bobby Williamson, which Bonner couldn't reach. There's Grant. Burns trying to get in the shot, and Peter Grant denied by that instinctive block from Peter McCloy. Into the box it goes again, down to Burns. And the flag was up for offside against McGarvey, but what a hit. Reed's header. Oh, a trouble off the ball between Nicol and McClear. 
camera is following Ali McCoy's, the play is stopped. But that was a very bad incident involving Peter Mc... involving Jimmy Nicol and Brian McLear. Now, I think Jimmy Nicol will be in serious trouble now because that was a very bad reaction to McLear's late challenge. So Jimmy Nicol, I think, will now depart the scene. The red card is shown to the Rangers captain for the day. And what an ignominious end to his temporary career at Ibrox. Well, Nicol, I'm afraid, has no complaints at all. After he played the ball forward, Ryan McClare came in rather late. I didn't think he made contact with Nicol. Nicol reacted with that stamp towards McClare, and having booked the first half, there was no possible alternative for referee Alexander. Taking control at the back. But Robin Penal, uh, Robin Lindsay Fowler for the push in the back by McPherson. In the shot, just about a foot over the top. 